What is up, fight fans? This is DJC Combat here in the house with another prediction. And this weekend, I'm going to be giving my breakdown and prediction for Peter Yan versus Marab Devashvili, which goes down this Saturday, March 11th at the Virgin Hotels Arena in Las Vegas, I believe. So not in the apex, so it might be in front of like a small capacity crowd, maybe. Doesn't seem like it'll be a big arena, but uh, looking forward to this fight. Looking forward to seeing Peter Yan back. And this is a huge test for Marab, who who's on like a seven fight win streak, I believe. Um, coming off two big um, notable wins over Marlon Marais, although Marlon is on the wash side and done in his career. Um, and he retired Jose Aldo. Um, he, respo he spoiled Jose's happy retirement, which us fans will never forgive him for. And he leaked Jose's special retirement, um, forcing Aldo, pressuring him into actually making a decision now that everyone knows what he said. Which really annoys me, um, and it annoys me that Mirab Devashvili um, is willing to hold up the top spot without fighting the champ because the champ is his best friend. And I wouldn't mind seeing Mirab fight Aljamain Sterling. You know, teammates fight all the time, so that really bugs me. You know, there's some things about Mirab that annoys me, but I respect him. He is a really good fighter, um, and there's a reason why he's winning all these fights. He is as good as hyped to be, you know? Um, and he's got a style that revolves around a lot of pressure, a high active pace that breaks his opponents. It's not just his wrestling. He's a good wrestler, but it's that pressure. He sticks to you. He's good at grinding you out against the cage, wearing you down, but he can also take you down and smash you. But even if he can't take you down, he can hold you against the cage. But his striking isn't bad. Marab Devashvili does have decent stand-up. He does pack a bit of a punch. Um, but he's not fighting Jose Aldo, and he's not fighting Marlon. He's fighting Peter Yan, and Peter Yan is better than Marab's last few opponents, better than Cody Stamen, uh, and better than John Dotson by far, and you know, way better than Aldo Marais. Just fresher than all those guys, and I believe he's fought and he's beaten a lot better competition than Marab Devashvili as well. Um, and this, the styles are different, you know? Like with Jose Aldo and Marais too, but especially Aldo, what's haunted him all his career is the issues with his stamina. That's what's lost him a lot of fights. So him fighting at altitude in Salt Lake City, Utah, he didn't want to gas himself out against a high pressure fighter whose style is to break guys down, knowing that it's happened to him before. So Aldo was conserving his energy a little bit too much, backing up a little bit too much giving Marab too much respect because he didn't want to gas out um, that's not an issue with Peter Yan Yan has insane cardio he may lack in certain areas like like volume output you know it does hurt him in some close fights but like when it comes to gas dude Peter Yan has amazing cardio he's been five rounds so many times I don't think the edge that Marab has on a lot of guys I don't think you'll have it on Yan he won't have the cardio edge. I say cardio is even, but I don't think Marab has ever been five rounds. So we don't even know how Marab would look in a five round setting. Jan has the five round experience. Um, but also with Jan's style, he basically counters everything that Marab brings to the table. Um, Marab is a great offensive wrestler. Jan is an amazing anti-wrestler. I mean, he can wrestle offensively, but he's got amazing take down the fence. Um, and his stand up is way better than Marab. He's faster than Marab, more accurate than Marab. He's got good counters. You know, you can't just, even though Peter Yan does shell up under pressure, when he gets your timing and he counters you, it will hurt. And we've seen Marab get chinned before. So I don't think Marab wants to mess around with the stand up of Peter Yan. I don't see Yan giving up ground like Jose Aldo. I don't think he'll accept pressure from Marab and let Marab hold him against the cage. And even if Marab does take Jan down, he's not keeping him there. The only reason why Aljo had that many t that many minutes of control time, like 10 minutes, is because um, Aljamain Sterling, it's his jiu-jitsu, his ability to take the back, to wrap you up in the body triangle. Marab doesn't do that. So if you can't body triangle Jan, he's going to pop back up. So if Marab Devashvili does take down Jan, Jan is getting back up, but also Marab... He doesn't have like the same level of control time that an Aljamain Sterling does. Marab's kind of like Colby Covington in the sense where he will take you down, his pressure is relentless, 
but you can stand back up but he'll grind you back down but i just cannot see him out grinding yan i can't see him out wrestling yan imposing his wrestling or out striking him i think the only thing that's hurt yan you know in his career was his inability to start fast he likes to start slow because he likes to download information and then adapt as it goes on because if he starts too quickly he's not able to do that but it's a five round fight five rounds I, if you put Jan in a five round fight against anybody, all bets are on Peter Jan. So I think five rounds is going to favor Jan in this fight. The style will favor Jan in this fight as well. And Jan is a former champion too, you know, and a lot of his losses, all four of his losses, like three of his four losses are split decisions and one of them is a disqualification. If he doesn't throw the Neo against Aljo, he's still the champion. If the judges didn't rob Jan in broad daylight against O'Malley, he, he's coming off a win, you know? If I'm not going to call the Aljo rematch a robbery, but if he got the nod against Aljo, he's the two-time Bantamweight champion. So he arguably could be like, what, 20-something in one? Or 20-something in oh? He could be an undefeated fighter right now. But Jan is going to come in with a chip on his shoulder, you know, coming off those frustrating situations. We're going to see Jan look the best he's ever looked. I think he's going to show levels against Marab. I just think the style isn't good, um, and Marab ain't no Aljamain Sterling, but Jan needs this win, man. He needs to win. He's like three, he's one and three in his last four since getting DQ'd, losing his championship by DQ in a fight he was winning, by the way. His skills were at an all-time high. You'd think that he'd just easily bounce back, get the belt back from Aljo, but that's not how it happened. He got the interim belt from Sanhagen, lost the rematch to Aljo, and lost to O'Malley. So if he loses here and goes 1-4 and four since then, man, his legacy is forever tarnished, man. So I think Jan knows that. And Jan is going to come in with a different fire, a different motivation. He knows he has a lot to lose here. And he's not going to let himself get beat by Marab Devashvili, you know. He's just in his mindset, man. He's just not going to let that happen to him. So I'm picking Peter Jan to win this fight. I think it will be competitive. I think Marab will have success. He will get takedowns, but he won't be able to maintain control. He might have cage control, but it won't last. We might see Marab get taken down a little bit here and there. Jan won't control him. Um, but ultimately, it's going to be a striking match because of Jan's takedown defense. And that's going to lead to Jan picking Marab apart. And Marab, or Jan has big power as well. He's got the power advantage. And again, we've seen Marab get chinned. I think Jan can hurt him the way Marais did. Except Jan, because he's so patient and calculated, he's not going to rush the finish. So he's not going to allow the chance for Marab to recover and get back in the fight. He's going to pick his shots and break a hurt Marab down to eventually get the finish over Marab. And I'm going to say probably in the third or fourth round or maybe Jan wins a, a decision in a war but either way I think Jan's better and I think he gets the job done um and I think it's better for the division you know because if he wins and let's say Sterling wins there's a big trilogy right there or if Cejudo wins I've always wanted to see Jan versus Cejudo whereas if Aljo wins and Marab wins it ruins the division if Marab wins and Cejudo wins, I'd like to see Marab versus Cejudo, but it's not a big enough fight for uh, Henry to stick around for. So we shall see. But I got Jan winning this fight. Let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe and uh, peace out.